Good day, and thanks for messing around. In this episode of the Vampire Survivors Bezwick, Colonel Bahamut's going to be taking up three more stages, getting a lot of curse, and we'll be running into another defanged stalker. That was a pretty surprising one at the end. Either way, have a good day. Hello, hello, and thank you for messing around in some Vampire Survivors. Third wave of the Beswick, and I'm going to be flipping around the order as Wolf Simundo showed up. We're going to be doing some Colonel Bahamut over in Abyss Foscari to maximize our curse. Oh, wrong way. I'm interested in this, I'm interested in many things. Oakley Doakley. And if we're scaling curves, we're going to want something that also scales with curse. Alrighty. Thermos box is on the map. Weapon pickup, yeah. Hm. You are on the map. Do not want Spellbinder. Hit are good, though. Armor's on the map. Perhaps I should have banished some things. There's lightning ring. That's the other weapon I wanted. And duplicator goes with it. Yay! Hey, more lightning ring is good. Stay still. Let those gems pile up. Do some dexin. <laughs> not, not song of mana. Not any of those. It actually doesn't. Pinion. No. Pinion doesn't. Rolla. Yes, Pumrola, because I want festive winds. Hey, right. come on. An inch good. Max damage, max curse. Ooh, that's a chest already. Operator, you are not on the map. Making things bigger is better. I do not want short gun. No one wants short gun. Yep, so all things I need and want. Red gem. Wait, hold out. Let the red gem come in. Chronos is on the map. Luck out with the chest. Nope. Alright, got two more passives to pick up. And what shall they be? What shall they be? Hollow Heart. Duh. Who doesn't want Hollow Heart? And probably Crown. Because, well, it's Crown. And there's nothing else I would really need. Everything else I want is on the map. Alright, guys, come on in. Be the pain you desire. Oh, they are getting in way too hard. Lightning ring, yeah, more lightning ring. That curse scaling a going. Nope, oh, garlic. No. More lightning ring, good. Max it out while I'm here. Nothing else, nothing else. Jeez, this is with the pickups today. Right, but yeah, because I can get infinite scaling with curse, I wanted to go Twilight Requiem on him. I know this isn't fully third wave, but meh, I wanted to try it out. Oh, wow, he killed me. I wasn't expecting you to last. Oh, NFT, that'll be helpful for when I go bust up the Atlanteans. Hmm, not happening in an empty tomb really does make a difference, huh? Whoever could have guessed that incredibly obvious thing would have been true. Alright, let's get all these nice gems. Oh, dang it, there was Silver Wind. That was bad. Now yeah, let's start banishing some stuff. Not the best idea. Oh, there's my Hollow Heart. Not miss it this time. Silver Wind used to be so dang common, too. It's crazy. We roll. I want you, Fire Wand. Do not want you. Brown is on the map. Phew. That could have been bad. 
Well, then what else do I want? Is there anything I would want? Or doesn't affect anything. You're on the map as well. The tome's on the map. Cracked orb's on the map. Oh. Uh. Gonna save that for the curse wave. I want duration. What else would I get? No, that's what I get for not planning things out ahead of time. But if you're this many videos into the series, you clearly know me. And I am not planning out a bloody thing. Oh, there's the red gem over there. Okay, what do we got here? I think I'll just have to grab this now. Got them biggest, fuzziest fists. I stood in this area for way too long. Hey, there's Silverwind. I did it because it increases my overall damage in the end with its decrease, so it's excellent to pick up. E do. All right. Any more chickens? Hey, another. Yeah, Thunderloop. Thunderloop is the one that has the fastest increments of Twilight Requiem shots, so grabbing that was fine. This should, yeah, 400 damage hits. Pretty well. Could be better once, and once I get Empty Tome, it will be better. And this also gives me healing. Yay, healing! Alright, this means I'm gonna rush to the Atlanteans next. Hey, luck, nice. Anything else to pick up here? No. Might. Yep, I'm not getting hit, so things are getting taken out pretty quickly. Oh, goody, area. Might, might, unbelievable might of the gods. This is run through time, so I don't need to worry about anything else. Armor, armor, armor makes you stronger. That is more damage, so I will grab that. Okay, wait for the curse wave to dissipate. Oh, there's a boss on me, isn't there? Okay, wait for the curse to dissipate, then I'll go grab, I'll grab this chest now so I can festive winds. And wait for the curse to dissipate, then go punch in the Atlanteans. Hey, red gem. Ooh. Wait, I can also get some little sanctuary. Uh oh. I don't know where anything is. Okay, there we go. Boy, that was weird. Wait. I'll get armor while I'm here, I guess. I, mean, I could just hit A. This is going to be a big level up storm. Right. Oh, NFT. I don't want that yet. I need to keep moving at the moment. Oh, dang. Hard to see. In the darkness, where there is no light. I think it's behind this wall or whatever. Round, 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 round. Now well, that would have been way, way more low. No, wait, I got that with this checked up, so. Alrighty. Alrighty indeed. Make it bigger. Make it stronger. Make it harder. Make it faster. Make it better. But let's not take damage right away. Well, everything is damage at this point, basically. 
Hey, wait, there were the crown on the, more crowns on the map, wasn't there? Well, that was inefficient. Well, carry on. Doodly doodly. Academy badge. It's less XP, but well. When you have Wicked Season, you know what you have to do. Oh, and all the Atlantans are down. Best of Winds is crazy good at that. And I've got 841 might. Now if I was going for like a polar build with paranormal scan, this would be even more absurd. But I'm not. I'm just, you know, doing this because I can. Or I could go full third wave, you know, actually what I intended to do. But I thought, well, I want to see how Endless Curse Scaling works with him. And it's working out pretty dang well, it seems. Heck, I have reasons to grab everything else on the map, too. Oh, I guess I shouldn't grab a tractor since I should be waiting for a bonus to show up from Wicked Season. Oh, there's my other Arcana. Du, 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 du. I think I'll take a wake just to make sure I can get to the end here. Gotta make sure I beat every stage with every character. Hitting pretty dang hard. Corner damage hits. Saw some 700s in there too. Oh, dang those pots. Yay, and with Empty Tome this will get even better. And with Thrones Box it'll get even better. Alright, Atlantis, what do you got for me? Couple dudes. Not that many though. I'm seeing 600s, that's not bad. Pretty dang high, actually. Of course, they've got way more health to compensate and add to normal. Hey, that's a huge bunch of level ups, so spam A. Spam A. Max it out. Hey, and even more. And that's my curse maxed out. Oh, something's hitting me. Oh, it's the pots hitting me. And just random always this. Yeah, the area could be better on the big fuzzy fist if I grabbed Boogaloo. I didn't want to. The area's pretty big as it is. Alright, let's head out and go punch Genevieve in the face. Seen worse kill counts. Seen worse. Crack to the left, I don't really want it. I'm just here to punch Genevieve for fun. And I'm gonna go sit somewhere and, well, let the big fuzzy fist claim victory. Oh. Kills are going up pretty okay, all things considered. Alright, stay still, let them die on the grave. Alright, pretty strong hits. Perhaps enough in the end to punch through. Or not. We'll see. Otherwise, yes, this blatantly was inspired by what Dex usually does. On this stage, I just wanted to try it out with myself for once. Instead of doing my own thing. Oh, well, this is still partly my own thing since I'm using three weapons. What's up here? What are you doing? Huh. You did that. Okay. I mean, it would have been better to rush for the Boogaloo of Illusions earlier. That would have made these attacks hit the whole map by this point, and by combining them, it would have skyrocketed the score. As it is, and it's doing what it is. I got enough knockback between Fuzzy Fist, Festive Winds, and the Lightning bringing up damage that I should not have had too much trouble overall. And then, because my damage keeps scaling exponentially... No, it's... Why did I think that wasn't a chicken? Where's the red gems? There they are. Yep, that's a bunch of levels right there. Oh. Boo, almost ran into that red gem right there. When I was in lucky season... Oh, yep, the damage just spiked again. Nice. Uh-oh. 
Well, the healing does help. The infested damage increases all the damage you do because it reduces enemy's defense, which they mean it takes a damage multiplier on top of it. I don't know exactly what the amount is, but it's pretty ridiculously high, as we'll hopefully see at the end of this video. Get all the red jams going. Right. Lucky. Oh, right. I can get other weapons. What would I even want? Armadillo. Armadillo. What do I have? Well, I guess Tier Jisu. I mean, if I go down, I go down. And that would help me not go down. Fantastic how obvious that is, isn't it? Pop, pop. Alright, we're on Curse Wave. They aren't doing much, if anything. That's good to see. Oh, slightly damaged, but between the healing I have. Alright, now, the big one's the 28 minute wave. That one has all the danger in it. I think it has that, it's nothing. Yeah, that was a decent chunk of levels. Could have been more, though. But, well, it is what it is. Going up pretty fast. Should break 100k. Like, not the biggest number of all time. I was not going, like, super serious with this either. I just wanted to try it out, which is nice. Hey, that boss didn't last a thing. That's with a decent amount of curse up, too. Yeah, 401. Oh, that's what 12,000 might gets you. I think with, like, Divine Bloodline, it could go even crazier. Especially when you get to the final waves. Dang it. Yeah, uh... Like, high double digit for the kills. I think he knocked back pretty well, but... What's that boss there? Dead. Still. It was noticeable enough to get a bunch of big fuzzy fists in its face. Alright, hey, they're piercing through. Doesn't matter that much overall. Like, I think I could refine this. Obviously, switch out some old Sanctuary for Boogaloo or some other stuff. Make it... might He might actually have the potential because he can scale off multiple stats endlessly. So, get this and Divine Bloodline. I mean, Marudo's another good contender for it since he gets... Well, innate Divine Bloodline with Legionnaire, though anyone can pick up Legionnaire and do it. Just fine for retaliation. Of course, that comes... Do you want the Might bonus from Retaliation from Divine Bloodline? Or do you want the Paranormal Scan, which counters it? Or if you just get raw enough curse, it won't matter. Everything will just die. Or get in, anyway. So, you won't be able to heal through it or something. Like that. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, right. Might as well get the... Oh, it didn't turbo box me. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Alrighty, what are you gonna do? 25 minute wave coming in. Oh, the kill count slowed down considerably. I'm gonna actually not break six digits. Hey, they're getting in. They're gonna be nice and hardy. I don't guess the healing and the damage can't keep up at this level. Well, when the double curse is on, otherwise, yeah, it's fine. Actually, that should boost on my damage too, right? Well, I mean, with enough, I mean, enough luck comes in that I basically heal between it. Hmm. So yeah, Divine Blood Line actually would have been good since it would have eventually stopped it, and then if it gets in big like that, it'll increase the damage enough, that will be torn apart, and then heal back off off the safer waves. So yeah, you could sort of run the gauntlet better here. Because he keeps scaling with so much more damage, even on the weaker waves, when you're back to full health, you'll still be able to clear them out. That's good note if I ever want to do this again, like the second or third video. Which, you know, probably gonna be. Probably gonna be. Hey, another chest. Wow, oh, not getting it. Like 442 luck. Okay, 28 minute wave is coming up. This one is not going down. 
swiftly. Oh, it's gonna be tight whether I break the six K six digit mark or not. Oh, 28 minute wave. They're hitting in hard. Hey, grenade. Alright, let's see what you got. A lot of damage, even here. Nice. That 28 minute wave is very fearsome. Even through everything, they took down the colonel. Screen is nothing but numbers at this point. Yep, unless I can get 100k in a minute, or 10k in a minute. This is looking like a loss for old Colonel Bahamut. Oh, good thing I picked up all the bonuses. Would it have affected my killing power in the end? Who knows? But it is what it is. And the Colonel has failed in his duty. Did not die. Yeah, I'm seeing like 19k hits now. Alright, Reaper. Yep, there's five digit hits in. Can't really get any pause, but still, they're showing up. Dang, show up. I want to show it off in a pause and fashion. Uh, 3417. Cash in all the revives I can. Oh, up there. Uh, 1,001 or 10,048. Yep. And for a ton. Or maybe it's not. Dang, it's hard to tell when the numbers get like this. Yep, there go all my revives. Didn't break the six digit marks. I didn't even break a billion damage. But considering what it was, it wasn't bad. I didn't break a billion on a single weapon, I mean. But considering it was not that serious a go, I just wanted to test it out. It wasn't bad. Or I needed a wake in the end, but hey. Hey. Okay, and here we are with the second stage of the Colonel Bahamut's victory tour. And we will be going to a smaller stage called Carlo Kart. I don't want to go triple big stage in one video. Also be going Wicked Season again, because that's a very bad idea. Pick a card, any car, know when to stop. Alright, we're going to be going for maximum cursing again. That means we're going to be going for... Her. Twilight Requiem again. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, weapon power. Crown for levels. Hollow Heart to Evolve. Oh, need to get those dang power ups here. Wait, can he get fast enough to counter it if I get. He's very fast innately. Empty Tomb. Man, Car Carlo Kart is crazy. Maybe I should grab Laurel. Oh! Alright, go forward. Young man. Let victory carry you to the ends of the air. Plus Fidango. Empty the tomb. Not heavy as that old sanctuary. You really feel the effects in times like this. It's so used to it. So used to it. When weapons fire off at their actual speed, it's really hard to tell. Why do I have so much cooldown reduction? Oh, right. The weapon itself. Alright, Tronus Box, where are you at? Oh, see laser. That's a weapon to pick up. Oh, that gets tier G sued. And spread shot, I don't want spread shot. Oh, there was wings. When are the evolution chests on this mission? I don't know. This sharp tongue is a new. K 
Candle Labrador is a yes. Who doesn't want Candle Labrador? Bad people don't want Candle Labrador. In fact, is there a single weapon Candle Labrador doesn't affect? I think it and Area and Might are the ones that get the absolute most uses out of anything. Yeah, yeah this is actually turned out to be a pretty good idea. Alright, another one should be coming up soon. Another boost pad. He's fast enough to grab them even if I'm on out of position. That's helpful. Where are you at, boost pad? Top. Uh, duplicator? Yeah, duplicator is nice. Oh, I missed that chest a long time ago, geez. Yeah, it's gonna be very hard to get the chests here. Oh, she probably just grabbed Santa. I think. Oh, there's lightning ring. That's always a solid pickup. And I can evolve it too. Alright, hold up for the tier Jisoo, perhaps. Or perhaps not. Who knows? Oh, there it is. Lucky. Well, I don't have much in the way of other stuff, but. Hey, I yeah, have what I have. Oh wow, that's a lot of chickens up top. Oh, you're Arcana bad, aren't you? Did you die? I can't tell. You're just a regular boss bat then? I still can't tell. Oh hey, chicken's nice. Hmm, when I'm in growth mode. Probably go up to the top like that, yeah. Rate them all of these, I don't care that much. Yeah, when I'm in growth mode, I should go up top because all the gems are going to sort of... Yep, that was the Arcana Bat. And I missed it. Oh, this is coming right up. Evolve! Yeah, big fuzzy fist. Nice. This one's still a bit of ways off. Oh wait, this is actually going to be worse for what I want, huh? I'm not going to be able to charge through like I could. Or am I? Could oh. have grabbed that vacuum. Top of the line is top of the curse. Okay, no, I'm not taking damage. It sort of looks like it. Okay, there's a boost pad here. I haven't crossed the checkered flags, clearly. When you're in inverse mode, the timer is messed up. Well, didn't want to grab that, but okay. There's the boost pad going bye-bye. Okay, they feel less durable than before. Maybe that's just because the colonel's damage is so much higher. Oh, here's a chest coming up down the middle. Yep, that figures. They've evolved the strongest weapon. One of the strongest weapons in the game, but nope. Get all these gems going. Oh, wow, you're surviving hits. That's impressive. Oh, first you stalker. Pretty bloody time. Am I taking damage? No, I think I'm getting more health back than anything. Six. Why do I have so much health? Hello, heart shouldn't be doing this much. Oh, whoa. Lousy stalker. Yeah, they're still getting wiped out pretty quickly. If I could... Okay, I have a bunch of revives and I can't actually get sea laser. Or I have C laser. I can't get proton laser because of the weapon pickup system. Great. I forgot about that because it's basically been so inconsequential for so long. I can't armadillo it either. Stalker, get out of here. Wait, you're defanged. How did that happen? Oh, okay. I guess I got two videos with a defanged stalker on accident. It's much more visible to tell that he's defanged here. 
Wait. Oh, there's a shadow guy here. Oh man, I missed both Arcana chests again. That's terrible. Oh, actually, no. I pop enough deaths. Yeah, if I die enough time, I'll waste all my tier Jisus. And then I can get the weapon pick up and get Pronto Laser off of it. Oh, I guess that's my goal now. Blow him up. Blow him up good. Chicken, 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 chicken goodness. Nope, I saved nothing. They're still far back. I see the opening at the top. That's where all the chicken is coming in. Got two more revivals to burn. Both from the tier Jisu, of course. Oh, if I even need them. Man, it's gonna be dicey. I mean, I want to burn them early now. Also, I don't want to... If I pop the awake ones... Which I shouldn't do at all. That would be a bad move. Oops. I made the bad move. Why did I do the bad move? It's because I'm a fearful scaredy cat who didn't want to lose yet another video. Yep. What else is new? Oh, I didn't even get the other dang chest. Oh. This is surprisingly high level considering. Large number of kills. Eh. Oh, whatever. Okay, for the third stage, I'm definitely going to go for the actual third wave setup. Oh, high death. Oh, it's only 15 minutes. Wait, that's strange. Where were the tribe blunders? I just wiped them all out with no trouble. Okay, and for our third stage in Colonel Bahamut's run, let's head over to... Uh, let's see, where, where, where? I don't know. No, I just did boss rash. This is why I had things nice and in order, and then I would still forget. Yep, this is a great way to start this section. Astral Stair? Astral Stair's hard. Uh, I mean, I should probably take Inverse off, because I'm not supposed to have it on. Because, you know, for Arcana. Oh, Wicked Season to start. No, I can just skip the last Arcana, I say, as I will absolutely not remember that. Okay, what? Oh, I was going Twilight Requiem. So let's go to the beginning. So let's go Twilight Requiem. Let's go Silent Old Sanctuary. This one will be more official to how I wanted to do third wave stuff. Try to get that 3-3-3 going. My tier Jisu. Weapon pickup. Weapon pickup, I will not be counting towards the limit. Oh, right, I have to turn this off. I can't actually kill anything right now. Because, well, it doesn't take up a slot. Armadillo won't count either. But, you know, this exists to give you a power up, so. That's what it'll be doing. Spread shot. Spread shot and will not be doing that much. But I have it. And I grabbed it. And it will be going. Alright, once I get my third weapon, I will be grabbing that. Spread shot. Uh-oh. I could have... Actually, now that I think about it, I could have grabbed that. Because this will just make them... Yeah. Spawn in more. Hmm. They spawn in more. That means they'll die more. Boy, it does not want to give me sea laser, huh? Hey, a chest. 
and I get money out of it. I've already maxed out my stuff. Oh, I want to go south or top. I guess down is better right now. Feels like it's much better at hitting things above you than below you. Clearly, what I need would have been celestial dusting if I could do it backwards. Yeah. Oh, they're not even hitting him. If anything gets close, it seems it's always be fang for some reason. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. Oh, great, it's Jubilee. No homing miss. Wow, it's not giving me what I want at all. Good grief. Well, my Arcana circumstances are lousy. Just banish for right now. Get all that other weapon stuff out of the pool. Really? Bone. Bone before sea laser. Oh. My final power up. Wait, what? I... Oh man, dang misclick. Too sharp. Oh, let's. I mean, if I had Dwight Right Wheel, that would help with it. As it is now, it's absolutely terrible. I, uh, I'm vastly bad to pick up. Oh, save me, Arcana Bat! Save me. Hey, uh, do I want to wait for them? Well, I should. No, I don't need to max out anything else. I should go to the other ones. ASAP. Get them done. No point in pulling out for the Celestial Hope or anything. Oh, hey, Rapid Fire. Ooh, just random always. I don't really care at the moment. Don't worry, I need to go spawn in because those can evolve early. Nine cooldown, pretty fast anyway. This, yep, this is a finger. All right, let's wait for that to come back. Yep, I'll spawn them in good. And are they surviving hits? Hits with this much damage? That's crazy. I ain't gonna get anywhere. Alrighty. Oh, right, I don't have a choice. I have to get Divine Bloodline. Oh, I can skip it. Uh, nope. 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 That's worthless. Okay. I should have waited on that. Oh. Shouldn't wait on moving to grab all these red, red gems here. Ooh, more red gems over there. I mean, curses more enemies. I thought I would have one shot potential, but guess not. We'll try the next one in, well, another mode. I don't need to worry about this. I get stronger if I get hurt. Make me better, stronger, harder, faster. Make it, break it, do it all day long. I don't know why I randomly decided to watch Daft Punk videos. You know, sometimes you just get in the mood with weird stuff like that. Oh, not weird, but... I can't actually use anything here. Da, da, da. When is the Arcana chest here? Wait, why didn't the one from the Golden Finger count? I thought those were always supposed to be evolution. I guess not. I guess they're just purple and penta. Why am I didn't move? But without evolution tag. Huh. Boy, they are getting way more than they should. I grab these nice red gems here. Yeah, it's a lot of levels. In fact, I probably don't want to evolve at this point. It would just result in me losing all this. Yeah, 24, 26. That's a lot. Big Fuzzy Fists isn't going to be doing that much. Oh, this is the one that goes back to the 
up. Oh, well, I'll wait for the next round, I guess. Oh, the stage killer there got in. No, it's not stage killer, it's like Phantom Force. Something like that. Why am I doing this? Oh, my life is one endless bad decision after another. Golden Finger might barely hit Demon. Yeah. Oh, that was not right at all. That was also not right. Oh, another weapon pickup. But at least should have held off. I think in the highest end, Big Fuzzy Fist is actually less DPS. Oh, rule of three. Rule of three, third wave. I'll get at least one of these at third wave rules. Oh, right, I'm in growth season. Wait, growth season. That means there's four seasons. That means it's breaking the third wave rule. Oh, no. Oh, don't get that red gem. Yeah, having tested again, I do think Spread Gun, because it gets pierced on its limit break, it's one of the better of the base weapons. Obviously, Metal Claw is far the best. Like, it's on par with some of the evolutions as it is. That's nice. Nice little niche for it. It'd actually be better than its evolution. In some ways. Oh, why are my levels not coming up? They're still dying. Oh. Uh, well, I have five revivals somehow. Ow. Oh, right, tier Jisoo. Oh. I don't have a way, so I'm not getting any bonuses out of it. And death for the Colonel. That's what you get for turning against the Contra Force. Brad Fang put an end to you, and now these giant floating heads did as well. Oh, I should not be doing this. They're a bit too hardy. Huh. Wait, I should get Pronto Laser. No, wait, I get Prototype C. I mean, it'll help. Basically, it fires endlessly, huh? gonna make it unstoppable or anything, but yep, Starburst. Why is it never not Starburst? And I'm dead again. And I've got so many more to go. But never a good sign. Oh, at least it seems with Prototype C they're getting pushed back. That's good. As long as Starburst doesn't happen, I should be durable enough to survive this till we get to the dang floating eggs. Oh, wait. I might not. Oh, right, because I don't have a Contra gun. Wondering. Ouch, my health. Uh oh. The uh, may not be feasible. Wait, what? How did I break? Some chickens to grab. A bunch of chickens to grab here. Rapid fire. Will make me more damaging. Okay, I got a couple... couple golden fingers to use. Wow. How many wings is doing work? I know with enough power. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna get damaged anyway, so I might as well push forward. That actually result in less damage because less of them will be spawning in. Chicken? That would have been really helpful to get a chicken there. Oh, that was the room. Finger in it. Yeah, it sure would be nice to, you know, have something show up. Chicken-wise. 
Oh, I died. Crud. Uh, that's one revive left. Golden Finger. Make me invincible. Get me through this wickedest of seasons. Yep, that's not a very good Golden Finger. It does last long enough. Hey, pet. Nice. It does last long enough that I can punch through, at least. I'm on full Golden. Yep, I'm on the Egg Wave. Alright, and the golden finger lasts about 10 seconds. Uh-oh. Alright. Put them all up in one ball. There we go. Whew. That well, could have been a very dicey one at the end. In fact, it was a dicey one. I counted the whole. I have no life left. Yes, Bone. Yes. Righty. And the Colonel has, by the skin of his metallic teeth, taken it to the top. Wicked season on all three. All three victories in one shot. Not bad, not bad. Okay, and Bahamut has successfully dominated with some Wicked season. Why? I hit numpad. Jeez, how did that happen? He has successfully dominated some pretty hard stages and basically got by through the skin of his metallic teeth on the astral stair. But that is three more down on the Beswick, 279 total. And how many more to go? 1653. So I would like to thank you for watching this far. I appreciate everyone who has watched. And if you want to leave a like, dislike, comment, or subscription, I uh, would deeply appreciate it. Either way, I hope you have a good day, and keep messing around in the Vampire Survivor's Beswick. New video tomorrow at the same time, 1 p.m. EST.